Installing Apache Web Server This video demonstrates how to install the Apache Web Server on your own local computer, which will allow you to develop and test web applications in HTML. If you have any difficulties with the installation, please consult the support page for this video at zoax.net for fixes. To begin, open a web browser and enter http colon forward slash forward slash httpd dot apache dot org into the address bar shown here. This brings up the http apache server project also known as the apache web server. Scroll down the page to the download link in the latest version which is 2.2.14 at this time. Left click the download link to open the download page. Scroll down the download page to the best available version section. Since we are installing on a Windows machine, left click the MSI installer link next to Win32 binary without crypto. This will pop up the download dialog shown here. Left click the run button to begin the installation process. This starts the download. When the download is complete, the security warning message box will pop up. Left click the run button to prepare the installer. After a second or two, the installation wizard shown here will appear. Left click the next button to continue. This will bring up the license agreement dialog shown here. Left click the radio button next to I accept the terms in the license agreement and then left click the next button. This will go to the next step of the installation wizard shown here. Left click the next button to continue. This brings up the server information dialog. Here we fill in localhost and the box is under network domain and server name. Then fill in your email address in the box under administrator's email. Finally, left click the radio button next to for all users on port 80 as a service and left click the next button. This brings up the setup type dialog. Left click the radio button next to typical and left click the next button. This opens the destination folder dialog. Left click the next button to select the default location. This finishes the installation setup and opens the dialog to begin the installation. Left click the install button. This begins the installation which will go on for a few minutes. During the installation you should see this window pop up telling you that the service is installed. When the installation finishes you will see the installation wizard complete dialog. Left click the finish button to complete the installation. Now that the installation is complete we will demonstrate how it works. First, we go to the desktop. Looking down in the lower right corner of the screen, we see the Apache taskbar icon. Right click the icon and a menu pops up. In the pop-up menu, left click open Apache monitor. Now you should see the Apache service monitor dialog, which looks like this. Here we can start, stop, or restart the Apache web server. Notice that the start button is grayed out because the web server is already running. Left click the OK button to close the dialog. Next, we will contact the web server to serve a web page. Open a browser and enter http colon forward slash forward slash localhost into the address bar. This opens a simple HTML page with the message, it works. This HTML file that we retrieved is located inside the directory htdocs in the path where we originally installed Apache. The file name is index.html. Now right click the index.html file icon and this menu will pop up. Mouse over open with and left click notepad. This opens our index.html file with notepad. In notepad we can edit this html file. Select the text that says it works and type in hello world to replace the text. Then left click file in the menu bar and save in the submenu. Now, open a browser and again enter http colon forward slash forward slash localhost into the address bar. You should now see that the message has been changed to hello world. This concludes the lesson.